Today, we are joined again by Scott Gell, Senior Developer Experience Engineer over at Webpage Test. Hey, Scott, thanks for joining. Hey, Michaela, thanks so much for having me back on the show. So Scott played a huge role in the recent release of Webpage Test Pro, where we introduced a bunch of new features and capabilities with Webpage Test. What one of them that we're going to dive into today in this episode is experiments. Scott, I think a really good place to start would be why did we create experiments and why are they important? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. So in general, um, performance experiments are something that many developers and performance specialists have been doing for many years already in their work to test their theories about particular optimizations, uh, making an impact on a site's speed or resilience or overall user experience. Um, running experiments like that on live sites can be a fraught, uh, costly, time-intensive kind of process. Um, there have been many ways that you might approach it and none are really ideal. Um, first, you might decide uh, to test a change on a live site by adding a query string or an A-B test to apply the change, um, both increasing the risk of bugs or security issues in a live code base, um, assuming you can even get buy-in to make that, that sort of change. Um, or uh, you might test a change in a copy of the code base, which takes work to set up and may not be a great reproduction of the live site. Um, more recently, you might apply the change as a sort of pass-through using a new technology called edge functions, which allow you to tweak a live site uh, as it passes through a proxy that you weigh. And this is in fact what we do with web page test experiments. Um, but manually writing that logic to make these sort of transformations yourself can be very time consuming, uh, which limits the number of things you can test. Uh, so we wanted to make that process a lot easier and faster and reliable. Um, experiments offer tons of ways to test optimizations on a live site without any of the downsides that I just offered. Um, they give you uh, consistent control over the number of runs that you apply in an experiment, uh, and they create a control run for each run that you do to give you uh, the fairest comparison between the experiment and the original site, which is a huge time saver too. And the results view is designed in a way that'll be easy for folks to present their findings in a PowerPoint deck you know, to their, uh, their team or a client. So beyond that, um, I think we created experiments to broaden the audience who will be able to better understand their performance problems and potentially learn how they can fix them, even if that means just being a little bit more informed on how to direct your development team to make a change that you wouldn't necessarily make yourself. So it's enabling in that way. Um, it brings more participants into the performance discussion. And that's important because many different roles on a team can already change a site in ways that impact performance, in ways that aren't always good. Um, so it broadens that awareness of how folks can impact the site's performance for better and worse. Um, lastly, as a power tool, we wanted to make experiments allow web performance consultants to be more capable in the jobs that they already do, to be able to make really powerful changes more quickly and test them reliably. Um, we think the Create Experiments section of the Opportunities and Experiments feature uh, really addresses this audience well and allows them to uh, test more theories and apply more complex transformations than they could without it, uh, with very little work. Thanks. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of thought that's been put into the different problems that experiments can solve, along with the different audiences that can utilize them. Scott, I know you specifically have been in the performance community for quite some time. Um, in your previous roles, what did your day-to-day -day look like and how would experiments help improve your workflow? So before I joined the web page test team, I was a developer and a performance consultant at times for many companies. And we would often perform performance audits and conduct experiments like the ones I just described. Uh, the process of doing that was intense. And even though we got, you know, we got pretty good at it from, from practice. Um, so experiments on the web page test site uh, allow me to perform changes in one click, so to speak, that used to take hours or even days to do manually. Um, so in that job, 
uh, if I was still doing that job now, it would mean I could test far more theories, exhaust more options, and get a broader, solid group of recommendations to, uh, to offer a client for improving their site. Wow, yeah, time saved alone, that would make such a great impact for different teams. Um, another thing that I'm a little curious about is with each experiment, it's either gonna have a positive or negative impact on your page performance. How do you know when you would act on an experiment versus when you wouldn't? So that's a great question. I think any experiment result that shows a dramatic change is useful, whether it's an improvement or a degradation. Uh, and I guess it's just as useful to see experiments uh, that don't seem to make much of a difference at all either. Um, for anything that's not a significant improvement, I probably wouldn't act on it. Um, and that's just a huge time saver to know. Um, and what's significant, um, that said, doesn't really have to be a huge change. Um, companies have shown you know, a 10% improvement in speed impacts conversion rates on their site pretty dramatically. So, uh, it doesn't have to be a huge improvement, it just has to be a reliable one across, um, across experiment runs. Uh, but there are some situations where I will act on the result of an experiment that shows a much worse result. And that tends to be when I'm testing resilience of a site. So say I run an experiment to see what happens if a third party service isn't responding uh, in a timely manner. It's just sort of hanging, requests are taking a long time. And I see that by doing that, it makes the site far, far worse. It takes many seconds to be able to use it. Uh, I would probably act on that sort of change to make changes to my site uh, to improve how it handles those situations when they occur to avoid them. Thank you for that input. It was really great to get to know a little bit more about experiments in general and also the different problems they solve, the audiences that would have interest in using them and how exactly that it would improve your day-to-day -day workflow. I really appreciate you taking the time, Scott, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks. All right, yeah, thanks so much.